Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our 20th video in Python GUI development with PyQt5. In the previous video, we have learned how you can create uh, a nice scroll area uh, in your window. So this example is from the pre previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a uh, queue dial in uh, PyQt5. So uh, like previous video, uh, I have some uh, uh, ready code. So this is just for my creating window. So you can watch the previous video. Uh, I'm going to just copy this code and paste it in here. Uh, this is just for creating window. So you can see uh, that, let me just remove these. Uh, and uh, like this, okay. Uh, you can see that I have a class window and it inherit from Q widget. And I have a title for this. So let me change the title to PyQt5 uh, Q dial. And uh, like this, uh, let me just remove this. Okay. Okay, now I have set the window title, window icon, set the geometry, and at the end, uh, this is my queue application object and window object. So uh, you can get this uh, uh, video from the, uh, you can watch the first video for this explaining of these. Uh, now in this video, uh, I want to show you how you can create a queue dial. So first I need to uh, import queue dial. Also I need a queue label. So now in here, uh, the first thing I need, uh, I need to create a layout. So let me also import a queue vbox layout. A queue vbox layout. Now in here I need to create a vbox. QV box layout. After this, I need to create a dial. So self dot dial. I call it dial Q dial. And uh, let me first uh, show you. Uh, let me now. I want to add V box dot add widget. I want to add my self dot dial. And after this, I want to self dot set layout to my uh, vbox layout. Now let me run this. Okay, now you can see that this is uh, a dial. Uh, you can make it like this. And uh, okay, also you can set uh, some attributes to this. For example, self dot dial dot set maximum. So for the maximum uh, minimum. Uh, first let me make it minimum because uh, minimum for this I want zero so self dot dial dot set maximum for this I want to give it 100 uh, also you can self dot set value uh, self dot dial dot set value for this I'm going to give it 30 okay now uh, let me just show you uh, also you can use uh, a Q dial uh, there is a signal that's called volume change so now how I'm sure I'm going to show you how you can connect your uh, slot to the volume change signal of Q dial for this uh, I need a label so let me create a label self dot label Q label uh, also, I need to self dot label label dot set font. Let me set the font dot q font and the font size to fifty. Also, I need to add this to my vbox. So vbox dot add widget self dot label. Uh, after this, uh, in here, I'm going to create a method or a slot. <coughs> so let me define. So def, def uh, dial changed. Now the first thing I need, I need to get the value of my uh, changing the dial. So cell dot dial dot value. And after this, I'm going to set that to my label. So 
set text and in here you can write uh, mm, dial is changing uh, and uh, uh, can connect this to uh, let me first type cross this to string and in here you can write the get value okay uh, after this now in your dial you need to connect this so cell dot dial dot uh, value changed dot connect to self dot uh, uh, what was my oh ah yeah, it was dial changed okay uh, now this is my complete uh, code uh, uh, let me run this Okay, now uh, if I change this dial, you can see now dial is changing uh, from 0 up to 100. Now you can see that it's showing me. So I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, subscribe to the channel and also like the videos.